My father actually bought his first franchise when I was 16 years old and quite honestly didn't have any aspirations of joining the business. And um, so we started in Ottawa, which is our nation's capital in, in Canada. And a few years later, he moved to Montreal and, and started that franchise. Um, and I, I went on to go to university. That's where I met my husband. And I, I guess it was probably our last year of university. He approached us and said, you know, did you, would you consider um, joining the company. Just even dabbling in it, you kind of realize that it's not really about lawn care necessarily. You're running a business and there's marketing, there's administration, there's coaching people. So all of the elements of a big business, you're kind of doing at a smaller scale. So for me, an entrepreneur is kind of a visionary, somebody that um, sees an opportunity and, and takes it um, and is ready to not take the easy road you know sometimes the road is is challenging um, but the more challenging it is it seems to be the more rewarding it is so you know hats off to a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are doing that where I feel my space is has been more on the managerial side of things I really feel that um, I love to give people opportunity it's about the people like there's no greater joy for me to um, see my employees when you first hire them and then they buy their first car and then they buy their house and they start to have kids and then their kids start accomplishing things or they start going to their sporting events like we as entrepreneurs in this industry imagine all the opportunities that we have done for people so to me that's what keeps me going like I love that we have you know thousands of employees across the US and somehow I've helped create that for, for them. So there's a little piece of what I've done that's helped uh, deliver that to, to people. So for me, that's my greatest joy. And if you're not growing, you're not creating opportunity for people. So that's what drives me to keep going. I don't think of myself as a leader, to be honest. I, I just think of myself, I go to work, I do what I do, and I... I get results and I, everybody says, you know, what? how can you define your career? I've been lucky. I've been so lucky. I have, uh, I get to work with my dad. I get to work with my husband. I get to work in an industry that's been awesome to me. Um, the people are so nice in this industry. Like I walk into the office and I'm happy. I'm get my two feet out of bed in the morning and it's like, I'm going to work and I am happy to go to work. My dad has been um, instrumental not only in my life but in a lot of people's uh, life. And you know, it, it even goes to the way he structured the company. You know, every one of our, our leading general managers across Canada, they're shareholders of, of the company. So for him, you know, um, our founder Des and, and Brenda Rice of, of Weedman, you know, they always, the customer was, was first and that's why they went the franchising route and not opening up branches. So that always stayed true to my dad. He always wanted to create opportunities for people and, and also make sure that the customer was taken care of. So, you know, if you've got good people and you're taking care of the customer, that's kind of a good recipe for, for business. Um, he, you know, he truly appreciates people. He's very loyal to, to people. And he truly believes to make people the best that they can be. So that inspires me. To receive a woman of Entrepreneur of the Year is pretty awesome for our industry is so predominantly uh, male. In fact, there are times where I would come to meetings and still as I'm the only woman in, in the room, which I think is an opportunity for our industry. You know, as we look to different uh, people and makeups of our companies, I, I think women are very critical part of it. We look at things differently. And it's not that male, female, and I, I, I don't think that just because you're a female you should get the job. I think that you need to earn the job. And at times you have to work harder, but I think that's why it makes us really good as um, leaders. It allows us, we, you know, a lot of times we lead with empathy and um, they say some of the best leaders out there are very empathetic. And it allows you in your, in your business to look at a different situation or an issue and look at it in different angles. So as part of your leadership group, if you have more and more 
uh, women or just a good balance of women and men that are able to look at different scenarios. It just gives you that that different perspective, maybe the softer perspective. So I, I think there's opportunities in our industry for women, not just at an administrative level, I think marketing, technical, leadership, CEOs, CEOs, I think we're able to do it to do it all.